Saint John Cassian the Roman was born around 360, probably in Lesser Scythia. His pious Christian parents gave him an excellent classical education and also instructed him in the Holy Scriptures and in the spiritual life. Saint John entered a monastery in the Diocese of Tomis, where his friend and relative, Saint Germanus, labored as an ascetic. In 380, desiring to venerate the holy places, Saint John went to Jerusalem with his sister and his friend Saint Germanus. The two monks stayed at a Bethlehem monastery, not far from where the Savior was born. After five years at the monastery, Saints John and Germanus traveled through the Debade and the desert monasteries of Scytus for seven years, and drew upon the spiritual experience of countless ascetics. The Egyptian monks taught them many useful things about spiritual struggles, prayers, and humility. Like honeybees, they journeyed from place to place, gathering the sweet nectar of spiritual wisdom. The notes St. John made formed the basis of his book called Conferences with the Fathers, in 24 chapters. Returning to Bethlehem for a brief time, the spiritual fathers lived for three years in complete solitude. Then they went back to Egypt and lived there until 399, because of the disturbances caused by Archbishop Theophilus of Alexandria to the monasteries along the Nile, they decided to go to Constantinople after hearing of the virtue and holiness of St. John Chrysostom. The great hierarch ordained the saint John Cassian as a deacon and accepted him as a disciple. John and Germanus remained with the St. John Chrysostom for five years, learning many profitable things from him. When Chrysostom was exiled from Constantinople in 404, St. John Cassian and Germanus went to Rome to plead his case before Innocent I. Cassian was ordained to the Holy Priesthood in Rome, or perhaps later in Gaul. After Chrysostom's death in 404, St. John Cassian went to Messala in Gaul. There he established two Cenobitic monasteries in 415, one for men and one for women, based on the model of Eastern monasticism. At the request of Bishop Castor of Aptia Julia in southern Gaul, Cassian wrote the Institutes of Cenobitic Life. Written between 417 and 419, the volume included four books describing the clothing of the monks of Palestine and Egypt, their schedule of prayer and services, and how new monks were received into the monasteries. The last eight books were devoted to the eight deadly sins and how to overcome them. Through his writings, St. John Cassian provided Christians in the West with examples of Cenobitic monasteries and acquainted them with the asceticism of the Orthodox East. St. Cassian speaks as a spiritual guide about the purpose of life, about obtaining the discernment, about reunification of the world, about the passions of the flesh and the spirit, about the hardships faced by the righteous, and about prayer. St. John Cassian also wrote Conferences with the Fathers, in 24 books in the form of conversations about the perfect love, about purity, about God's help, about understanding scripture, about the gifts of God, about friendship, about the use of language, about the four levels of monasticism, about the solitary life and cinematic life, about repentance and about fasting, about nightly meditations, and about spiritual mortification. This last one has the explanatory title, I Do What I Do Not Want to Do. Books 1-10 through 10 of the conferences describe St. John's conversations with the Fathers of Scytus between 393 and 399. Books 11-17 through 17 relate conversations with the Fathers about Panaphysis, and the last seven books are devoted to the conversations with monks from the region of Diocles. In 431, St. John Cassius wrote his final work, on the Incarnation of the Lord against Nestorius. In seven books, he opposed the heresy, citing many Eastern and Western teachers to support his arguments. In his work, St. John Cassian was grounded in the spiritual experience of the ascetics and criticized the abstract reasoning of St. Augustine. St. John said that grace is defended less adequately by pompous words and loquacious contention, dialectic syllogisms, and the eloquence of Cicero, i.e. Augustine, than by the example of the Egyptian ascetics. In the words of St. John of the Latter, Great Cassian reasons loftily and excellently. His writings are also praised in the rule of St. Benedict. St. John Cassian lived in the West for many years, but his spiritual homeland was in the Orthodox East. He fell asleep in the Lord in the year 435. His holy relics rest in an underground chapel in the monastery of St. Victor in Marseille. His head and right hand are in the main church. <laughs>